Hello, you're watching The Big Picture on News Markets. How can academic research help businesses grow and attract investors by combining the university mindset with the know-how to commercialise new technology? Well, over the last 18 months, the UK technology commercialisation sector has flourished, promoting innovation and increasing investment opportunity. Imperial Innovations is a firm that creates, builds and invests in pioneering technologies developed from academic research. And CEO Russ Cummings is here to talk about investment potential in the knowledge economy. Hello there, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. Hello, you, you work in the Golden Triangle. Explain a little bit about what that is, where you fit in and what the sector is all about. So the Golden Triangle is the area bordered by Oxford, Cambridge and London. And it's a fantastically rich uh, area for science in the UK. Uh, imagine the university, the combined strength of Cambridge University, Oxford University, Imperial College, UCL, uh, King's, QMC, Med City, Tech City. And it's an incredibly strong area for science uh, and a great place to be if you want to create value from that science, which is what we do. How are you doing that? So we bridge the gap between academia and business. Uh, we've got people in our companies with PhDs that can talk science with academics and really get to understand the great innovations going on in those universities. But also we have business builders, people that know how to create value, recruit management teams, attract funding into those companies and set them up in the right direction uh, with real ambition. So that's what we do. This is a huge market in the States, also in Israel. The UK, by comparison, is seen a bit as the poor cousin. What's the potential? So we're changing that. Uh, you know, it's, it's our mission to change perceptions about how UK can succeed in this area. So uh, in many respects, we're adopting the US model, uh, which is to really put substantial capital behind uh, some of our companies. So uh, Circassia had raised £100 million. This is our pharmaceutical company uh, before it was uh, listed on the stock exchange and it's now in the FTSE 250. Um, Cell Medica this year, another cancer company that we're backing, uh, we've just led a £50 million funding round. So uh, we're, we're, we're applying the US model to UK science. And what's the potential for, for investors? It is, it is burgeoning. What, what should they be looking for to, to get in on this sector? So uh, investors should be looking for an experienced team who know what they're doing um, because this is really challenging. You know, it's really challenging evaluating the science, picking the winners, uh, building the management teams and uh, also uh, uh, stopping funding uh, companies that are going to fail because that's an important part of the mix too. Um, uh, and uh, investors should also be looking at the quality of uh, portfolio companies. Uh, we've been doing this for around 10 years now uh, and, and we've built up a really exciting portfolio of companies into which the majority of our investment now goes. You mentioned a couple of the success stories but there have been failures along the way. How, how can investors cover themselves in terms of risk? Well, um, absolutely, failures, failures is part of it. You know, if, we, if sure. we're not seeing failures, that means that we're not taking enough risk. Uh, and it's our job to uh, stop funding those companies if they're not making the progress or the commercial opportunity is no longer there. So in, in a way, investing through companies like Imperial Innovations, you get access to a portfolio of opportunities uh, without uh, the, the, the individual risk of failure because that's taken as part of our mix. What have some of the clangers been? Um, well, so we've had uh, failures. We've had companies that we've stopped funding after we've put £50,000 into it. We've had companies that we've stopped funding and, and had to write off after we've put two or three million pounds into it. Uh, so the, the key is to uh, stop them before we've put too much money into it. And by the time we scale them up with uh, 10 or 20 million pounds worth of investment, uh, they've gone beyond that point and the technology's been de-risked. So that's part of what we do is, is, is uh, fail companies at that early stage. And that also taps into the university idea of trying out new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ideas to apply to business. But where do you see the sector going in, in the short to medium term? So, so it's a very exciting time and you're right, uh, we're, we're based adjacent to one of the university campuses and we get that same buzz, you know, this time of year the new students arrive and there's new energy in, in universities which is part of what, it, what excites us. Um, the sector I think is, is also uh, very interesting at the moment because it's grown. There are now five listed companies in, in London, uh, two of those are commercialising US science uh, and so uh, London is now being seen as the real centre of expertise for IP commercialisation uh, through quoted companies. Uh, so uh, the spotlight is turning onto our sector, uh, which is very exciting for us too. It does sound like an exciting space to be. Mm. Russ Cummings, thanks ever so much. Thank you. Yeah.